This continues on the bodies exhumed from the Shakahola forest. Chief pathologist Johansen Adorno now says that it is becoming increasingly difficult to determine the cause of death on bodies exhumed recently due to severe decomposition. Out of the 94 bodies that had been exhumed, the government is yet to carry a post-mortem on 45 bodies, even as the next phase of exhumations is set to begin. Day three of the post-mortem on bodies exhumed in the Shakahola farm linked to controversial Pastor Paul McKenzie kicked off a Thursday morning at the Malindi Sub-County Hospital. The head pathologist now says they have hit a dead end in their quest to ascertain the cause of death of bodies exhumed in Shakahola farm because the bodies are severely decomposed. All of them were severely decomposed. So what we mean here is as we progress, we find that there is more and more decomposition. I think because of the time that is taken between the death and the time we are doing the postmortem. Today, the team led by Dr. Odor conducted postmortems on 22 bodies. Of these, 13 were female while 5 were male. However, the gender of the other four could not be determined, the doctor's father stating that most of these bodies were those of children. So we presume that though these bodies are very badly decomposed, maybe they are just a, a general uh, picture of salvation. So now they are decomposed to be able to determine, yeah. In the prior autopsies conducted, most bodies showed evidence of death by starvation, while a few others showed evidence of death caused by strangulation or blunt force trauma. The team has so far conducted 49 autopsies since the exercise began on Tuesday. 45 bodies are yet to be examined before the exhumations resume in the 840-acre Shakahola farm. Chip to Boit TV 47. I mean, all the lands of donkey welfare.